So I, the way I like to think of these different screen environments, especially with CTV and linear, who are sharing the same box, um, I like to think of the consumer and even us as professional consumers, I would say, um, even just think of how you use the remote to how you interface um, with the actual UI um, of the TV. So um, even though you might be using the same device, it's two completely different behaviors. If you think of linear TV, you might be channel surfing while watching content, whereas with CTV, you're more than likely second screening, although both share a similar behavior pattern. So in terms of bringing it back to the creative, you're already thinking of, you know, um, from measurement, we know already who you're serving to from um, what their behaviors are looking like. So the fact that you can already do a little bit more on CTV means you can do more with your creative. So what is what are the advertisers uh, coming to you what are their expectations? Because I know you serve advertisers and sellers. Uh, what are some of the use cases that you're, you're solving for them uh, at Truly? Yeah, um, so it kind of runs the gamut, like even from how they're looking to activate. So we have different clients that will activate in different ways, whether it be you know completely programmatic against uh, kind of our premium unruly supply um, to maybe even manage to solve service clients on uh, Tremor DSP side. Uh, but I'd say for Truly, um, our clients are looking to solve either, you know, optimization issues where they might have video assets, but they were created for social environments. So how do we then, uh, you know, help them uh, activate on CTV environments, which tend to be, you know, 16 by nine ratio, taking up more screen real estate, um, all the way to first time to video. Um, so, clients who traditionally did display media who want to take advantage of those CTV screens um, and video as a whole um, don't even know where to start. So we essentially act as not just a creative production group, but also a solutions-based consulting group um, for media buyers as well as brands. And you sit on top of a massive tech stack with a lot of data. How does data help sort of drive the creative process either by uh, versioning or, or other ways? How does data fit into that? Great question. Um, so one of our specialties is data-driven creative, um, often known as dynamic creative optimization. Um, so, you know, just thinking of CTV as the convergence of OLV and linear TV, um, you're now able to essentially use data to modify your creative in real time. Um, and even kind of bringing it back to you know, how do I even start to create a video ad? Now that you know who you're serving to or who you're targeting, um, where they are, what time of day, so on and so forth, you can then dynamically modify that creative so it becomes more relevant almost um, to make a larger impression. Um, kind of a tagline we like to say internally is anyone can serve an impression, but not everyone can make an impression. So that's certainly where um, our guiding principle lies for sure. So how does this work for the supply side? Um, you know, how does create creative solutions, uh, work for CTV for, you know, for the sellers, for the platforms, for the publishers? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would say, uh, on the supply side is where I almost like to think we're, um, there's definitely a lot of momentum you're starting to see, especially in the last few years. Um, kind of more of a progression on native supply solutions on a creative end. Um, I would say um, where, the, where there's growth potential there um, uh, or where I've seen kind of growth potential there is um, within like emergent placement. So a good one I often see is uh, when you're pausing content um, that's either on demand content or live content you're starting to see uh, more placements during a pause. Um, so not even during an ad break. So kind of following those emergent um, creative placements is something I, I find exciting um, as, as you know, more supply side solutions become more relevant and prevalent. Great, and, and finally, in terms of the kinds of buy side or advertiser or marketers, what do you see in terms of categories and kind of brands uh, 
I mean, all kinds of categories, I suppose, are, are playing in CTV, but what are some hot areas that you're seeing in terms of uh, demand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say even just anecdotally, um, you know, some of our biggest verticals have always been auto, retail, um, CPG. I would say even travel um, uh, has seen a boost there. Um, you know, not to get into any of the restrictions in the real world, but I would say um, those have been some of the biggest ones to really bounce bounce back into CTV, um, especially throughout the last few years where there's been more adoption of CTV as a platform as well from the consumer standpoint. And finally, Gabby, uh, your message to, to the advertisers um, about making the right moves in CTV. I mean, a lot of them are in it. Uh, a lot of them are expanding. A lot of them are considering. What are some of, you know, your your thoughts, your direction? QR codes. Um, I would say a lot of people uh, either um, don't agree with us that QR codes should be everywhere if you're running a CTV ad. Um, I would say most of the optimizations we've done this year are to add QR codes to um, video ads that are running on CTV. Um, I'd say the benefits outweigh um, any type um, of predisposition you might have. Um, you know, with a QR code, there's always intention behind it. There's no, there's never an accidental scan on a QR code. Um, even if someone doesn't scan the QR code itself, there's still a novelty in the space. So you're bound to take advantage of some brand lift. Um, and lastly, uh, as another kind of best practice, make sure that the QR code um, is visible throughout the ad from start to finish. Um, you know, consumers are already second screening. They already have that device on in hand, literally, um, to scan. So the fact that they could be spending more time after your 30 second spot uh, with your brand while a competitor's ad is running, um, you, you can't really put a price point on that. So if you take, if you take away anything, from this video, I would say, put QR codes on your CTV ads.